wondering whether there's anything I can give up of mine that we can get Dave's message because I feel really bad for him and I think you know he's really missing his family and if he could get his message from his family the one that you played backwards to him before then I think it would make him a lot more happier what would you like to give up Sam anything you want I'll I don't care, I'll give up anything I own. Julesie and Jewel are in the bedroom. I spend time talking to people, trying to be kind and nice. But then the bottom line is, they'll always choose somebody else over me. Do you know what I mean? For no reason. <laughs> I thought what Steve done today was nasty. Steve, oh yeah, no. I didn't like that. I because. I would have loved to be an Oris trainer. I'm just an easy target. And then, because of me crying, it's an easy thing. Like Corinne used that. Yes, it's just an easy thing to use. Well, oh, him. my God, it's uh, huge. Corinne, it's not going to hurt <gasps> you. He's not going to hurt Jesus. you. There we go. There we go, buddy. Oh. There he goes. Oh, my God. There he goes. Though he's not going to... That is massive. Bumblebees only sting in self-defence. They'll never actively attack you. What if it come near me though and I went like that? No, it's... If one comes near you, just let it fly by you. It's not going to hurt you. That was huge, Joel. That was the size of an R. The things that I liked Corinne for are the things that I now don't like her for. She's very strong and she's very determined. Very. And I know that out there, she would have the confidence to have put that bucket over anybody's head. She chose me <laughs> for a reason. And it was all part of her manipulative game. I don't know which one you want. What's that avocado pear? He's good, isn't he, Joe? He's good. I take it all back, John. Yeah, he's it. I'll be singing your praises if anyone even wants to talk to me <laughs> when I get out. <laughs> All oh, this Corinne fancy Jay, what a load of fucking bollocks. She's got a girl at home. Have you ever heard of such? It's just all bollocks because... It's all bullshit. When I look at it now, I've been speaking to her and, I, and she'll, when the cameras start turning, she'll bring it up mm -hmm. about stuff. But now I've realised that, and especially when I was speaking mm. to her, she was quite cold, even though she was trying to say understanding words. The words, it was like... The words were shallow, empty words, mm. and the, she chose me out of, out of her in her own mind to manipulate it to suit her to stay and her gain in here. It was nothing to do with me crying. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. No, I'll put my hands up. I was completely flabbergasted when she did what she did. <laughs> because she's not here for she's not here for friendship. She's not. She doesn't give a fuck. She's here to stay to the end. And that's mm. it. And that's bottom line, period. And she's going to do whatever she, she can to get it. She has been yeah, a bit of a rock to me sometimes yeah. in there, you know? No, but the thing about it is who you are, Big Brother will flush it out in you. Look, I don't hate her, but I don't trust her. And I don't, I don't associate with people that I can't trust. I'm liking your work, boy. You're a lot like me. <laughs> Twelve thirty p.m. Andrew, Josie, and Dave are in the garden. I've had colonic irrigation. Oh, you said yeah. Yeah. Did you enjoy it. Yeah. Err, uh, but I enjoyed it. <coughs> I'd be up for that. Is that the one with the see-through tube? How much did it cost? Like yeah. thirty quid or something, isn't it? It was uh, fifty quid. Fifty. It felt spectacular for three days. I don't see why they make the tube see-through. Why not make it black so you can't see what's going through it? Because I want to. I want to see. I want to see if I'm paying really? all that money. I'm one of those people, if I go number I two, I always know. got to have a look. Yeah. yeah, a little look, yeah. And if I pick my nose, I always got to have a look. Yeah. So for me to look was a big thing. <laughs> psst, psst. Yeah, you alright? Oi, where's Wally? Yeah, I can hear you. It's me, the tree. Yeah. Carry on what you're doing and don't let on you're talking to me. If anyone comes in the bathroom, I'll shut up and you come find me later on alone. Okay. I've been watching you, Pepper Pop, prancing around like an oversized seven-year-old. I'll tell you something. I'm liking your work, boy. You're a lot like me. You've been stirring up all kinds of shit, and I absolutely love it. So, a little bird tells me you'd do anything to get Dave his message for his kids. Mm. Well, I can sort it if you do something for me. In my drawers is a cheese board 
full of loads of stinking, minging cheese. I want you to grab some and take it into that bog over there and smear as much as you can over, under your armpits. I'm the tree of temptation and you're going to be the brie of temptation. If you can pass off the odour as your natural smell, I'll sort it for Dave to get his message. But if you tell anyone you've been talking to me, the tree, then you'll face the full wrath of the tree of temptation. Now piss off and get stinking. If three of Sam's housemates comment on his order, he will pass his task. Hmm. 12.51pm. Housemates are in their pantomime pairings for this week's Horse of the Year shopping task. Housemates will take part in a series of trials with one horse eliminated after each round. What the horsemates don't know is that the winning horse will leave the Big Brother house tomorrow and compete in the annual pantomime horse race at Sandown Racecourse and have the chance to win £500 for this week's shopping budget. Steve and Dave are the trainers. Oh, we're going to get so sweaty and smelly in them, aren't we, Corin? Hello, Andrew. Hello, Mario. Hey, Hello, big brother. brother. I'm looking forward to the task. Yeah. Although the funny thing is, Mario's just had this lower back pain suddenly manifest today, which means I have to be the rear end of the horse. What would you like your pantomime horse name to be? Colzek the Butcher. Any particular reason for that? <laughs> we oh. just made it up. <laughs> Come on. Sit nice and steady around the yard, nice and steady. And today we have Andrew and Mario's Colsex the Butcher weighing in at 20 stone and 13 pounds. Colsex a sterling stallion with a wealth of experience. Let's go. <laughs> JJ and John James, Yo. why did you choose to be a horse together? Because we're probably the two most alike people in the house and we're probably the two most competitive, so... We're not going to give up, that's a, that's a fact. So. Yeah. What would you like the name of your pantomime horse to be? Um, JJ Lightning. <laughs> That's pretty good. Next up is JJ and John James as JJ Lightning. Sleek and taunt, how fast will this filly fare today? Oh, come on. Look at that. That's looking That's good, lovely. I tell you That's what. Be the back That's ends. the best I've seen yet. The back end's looking like it's got worms or wickets or something. I don't know what's happened to the back end of it. Joe and Josie, why did you choose to be a horse together? Because <laughs> well, we love each other. Yeah. <laughs> I love her. I love her as well. <laughs> what would you like the name of your pantomime horse to be? Uh, the BB, BB Bombers. Bombers. <laughs> <laughs> Don't me My neck's hurting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Drawn get them feet working Mate. together. Here come Josie and Joe as BB Bomber, confident and reliable. Will they give an explosive performance today? Straighten it up a little bit on the back end. Just straighten, straighten up the... Oh, straighten up the... Hey. That's the best back I've seen yet. That is a straight back. <laughs> that's the best back I've seen yet. Corin and Sam, what made you choose to be a horse together? Well, you know, we're just going to be in a, in a lethal team. We've got loads of energy and we're all really competitive. Yeah, we're going to, like, go for it, aren't we, yeah. today? What are you going to call your pantomime horse? It's going to be Tony, the, bo the Curvalicious and Bootalicious horse and the whole of BB World. Best served with horse rabbit. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Dot com. <laughs> We're bootalicious and curvilicious all at the same time. Is this a heart, an actual heart? Yeah, it's a unicorn. Is it, is it definitely a unicorn? Yeah. yeah. Whoa, and finally, here come Sam and Corin as Tony, the curvilicious and most bootalicious horse in the whole of BB World, best served with horseradish.com. This fun loving young filly has youth and enthusiasm on its side. That's it. One. Twenty! <laughs> steady on, steady on. Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Two fifty 